lot of pet information. Yeah, if you look at the metagame channel, a lot of the pin messages is just Muffin from Mars just yeah. showing off all the Lucas tech available. Yeah, and he's definitely been the one just putting out work with the character and even just always being in conversation with Shania about how the character can work in the metagame. Not only the combos and optimizations you can be going for, but Muffin starts off here against another Inkling against Copter. Copter are actually part of the same crew alongside players like Shine, um, Arkister, Toasty, yeah, Kanye. All the Cal Poly Pomona people. Yep. But here we go. Looks like this seems to be an even game. It looks like Copter, you know, kind of showing off that they all kind of have an inkling just from playing each other so often. Another up throw to up there. They're just keeping it close right now. Both of these two, not either of them, keeping a oh. clear lead so far. Whoa, what a parry right there. Yeah, and even the fact that in fact, you could actually just parry the back hit of forward smash because the actual forward smash is really ridiculous. It actually starts from a little bit behind Lucas and he gets the carry here and he's not going to end up with the recovery on the down smash. The thing about that that Muffin was telling me uh, how that carry works with PK Thunder is you're actually able to carry your opponent with PK Thunder if you just graze him a little bit enough with the ball and then just carry them and do like a snake pattern. Uh-huh. And it's actually able to carry you to the blast zone. It's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. uh, we're seeing just different play styles. We saw Shine's earlier. What he liked to do was suffocate his opponent with the aerials, meet him in air-to-air -air combat. Mm -hmm. Copter are more of an inkling that likes to wait for his opponent to elicit a reaction first, and then oh. try to go in and pressure with the back airs. Or just the, it's more of the pressuring with the thought rather than being there already intercepting his option. I mean, when you're pressuring with your opponent's actions here, immediately Muffin knows the call. He's going to try to go for a back air. He's going to try to go for a forward air from the ledge. If I can beat him out on the aerial here, I'll get the stock instead. There's the forward tilt. Try to really confirm it into the down tilt. That's the thing about Lucas. You gotta watch out. Those down tilts are actually a pretty solid percent in combo starter. Yeah, and can confirm into the grabs where he can get the up throw to get the kill. Lucas, of course, very solid character. Potential edge guard, but not mm. quite. The PK Thunder gonna go right through the paint splash from uh, that up B. On the, on the get up on the Zare. All right, the chase. Oh, tries to find the get up into the roller. Not quite able to find it though, but still, with the recovery. He's gonna make it back just fine. Please. Oh wow, he's been finding those parries every time. But uh, let's see what he does. Yeah, the wave land. There we go. Mm -hmm. These two just keeping up their tempo. Yeah, you, you can see they're waiting and they're trying to figure out how to space in. But Muffin from Mars is gonna catch him with the nair first, but just tries to get that grab and Inkling's a little bit too fast. He's able to set up for the grab and tries oh. to get a down throw into the nair train, but not quite able to find anything. Yeah, at that percent, wasn't going to be able to work out for Shine. I'm sorry, for, for Copter. So, Muffin was <laughs> able to get the forward and sneak himself out there. I'll throw up air. I mean, he's got the right idea because even if it's not going to kill, you want the juggle, you want the percent, but he's able to catch him going for an aerial here and he gets the kill with the up throw. Yeah, that <laughs> it was unfortunate. It looked like Copter wanted to continue pressuring, but just the rope kind of caught him, extending oh. his hurt box a little bit, it looked like, and then he was able to get the kill off of that. Solid option for Copter looking to see how Muffin was going to land. Back throw sets up the PK Thunder, but I like how he keeps it close. Knows the fact that top cop there will have enough time to get back on the stage faster than he can actually just try to go for a hit. Yeah. I think just in general, from what I've seen from Muffin, looks like he's starting to figure out how to adapt to Copter's tempo. A lot of times he'll do an empty yeah. hop or a dash back to try to elicit a reaction first. Like I said, Copter likes to wait a little bit more than Shine does, but Mars is, or excuse me, Muffin from Mars is getting ahead of the game and just says, okay, you know what, you're gonna come back to me and I'm gonna be able to get a grab. He's being able to find a lot of openings because of it. Oh, and he even brings him with him with the back to PK Thunder. Pretty good option there. Not gonna kill, but still gets percent. I think about Lucas' PK Thunder, right? It's not as powerful in terms of knockback, but it's powerful in terms of how many <laughs> hits it has. Very smart edge guard coming there from Another PK Thunder attempt. Copter. Oh, great tech, actually, too. A lot of times it's very difficult to find out when you're actually gonna wall bounce, but he's probably showing that, you know what, I play Shine a lot. I probably know yeah. how this is gonna work out, and he's able to, to defend himself. Up throw up air, like I talked about it earlier, not gonna kill, but of course the percents matter here. Sets up himself at the ledge, could be looking for a downer or a back air because they can lead to a falling up air, but here's this well put out forward air, sensing how Kato is gonna put out his aerial. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, Kato's trying to wait and then pressure with an aerial rather than meeting him already in the air to air. Yeah. And then Muffin is thinking, oh, okay, well, I'll just get ahead of the game here and just <laughs> jump in with a fair. I'll catch you before you even get your aerial to land in the correct position. So, for game one, going to Muffin for Mars. Very nice stuff. Kept it close too, even though Copter was down like 150 to zero oh, on yeah. his last stock. I was, he was starting, starting big combos, and one roller could have been potentially it. And that's the thing about Copter and Muffin, right? Like in this matchup between these two players, Copter's kind of used to fighting Muffin because of Shine. He kind of knows like those, those setups, right? Because they do 
they are part of the same crew. And Muffin and Shine do inter do uh, exchange Lucas knowledge and information. Exactly. But here we go. Going to Smashville, much smaller stays this time around. Inkling might be able to pressure a little bit more and just stuff out more with his aerials. We'll have to see. All right, the jab comes in. Potential tech chase. He's waiting. A little bit too much distance. Not able to find anything. Solid opportunity for Muffin because when he goes for the PK Thunder at that part of the ledge, he's either looking to hit his opponent or hit himself because of the fact that it'll extend the hurt box and the hit box itself, like that situation there, it works out so well. Like I said, it doesn't kill knockback, but the damage that Muffin's looking for does come in handy. Alright, Nair out of shield. Oh, tries to run off with a dare. He's been looking at that every single time, oh. but it looks like Muffin's quite ready for it. Not gonna let the opportunity. Oh, here's the drag on, but he misses the opportunity. PK freeze, not gonna get it. Here's the landing and caught through with the damage on the jabs. The paint is available. That should be death. Yep, yep. that'll be it. Very simple. Just wave land back and then just go for the forward smash. Go crazy. <laughs> oh, there's the back air. Muffin is really looking for the up air follow up afterwards. There's the Zare looking for the corner carry. That's the thing you gotta watch about a muffin though, because one thing he always does, he does a little bit of a fadeaway. He either mixes it up with a forward air, a PK fire, or a Zare. Yeah, that's just a big mix up game that you have to deal with and just knowing to be able to guess mm -hmm. the, the correct one and pick out muffin's uh, defense Options. patterns, yeah. Dare. Uh, the one thing he's going for Dare is because it has a lasting hitbox and it's pretty good at catching two frames and also landings. Yeah, he can even uh, spike them and then set us up for like a forward smash. Mm -hmm. Very solid uh, option at the ledge. It's not quite finding it, but the risk rewards there. He only gets hit by like a getup attack. Oh, forward smash. Like uh, he waited too because he knew he was going to hold on the shield. Muffin probably trying to condition him a little bit longer for a grab, but he missed the opportunity and forward throw would have killed if he had that. There, put him off stage one more time. Oh. The spacing though. There's the whiff punish coming out from Cobb. They're seeing the fact that he was going to go for another dare attempt here. Forward tilt. That'll keep things slightly closer than it was. But still Cobb it up two whole stocks. Yeah. We'll have to see, though. I mean, Lucas is a character that can kill relatively early. He's just got to find his right opportunities. But the way these two have been playing, they've been going back and forth on each other. So I kind of see this going in Cobb's favor. As long as nothing is this crazy the carry? No. happens. And that's what, that's what he's looking for at this point, right? The carry. I mentioned it earlier, right? If you sneak it around your opponents and you hit him with just graze him a little bit with the bolt itself, you can kill your opponent a little bit early and steal stocks, essentially. Yep. Looked like uh, Copter went for a very low recovery there, angled into the safe. That way he got the sweet spot on the ledge earlier before the down smash could connect on him. And we talked about how edge guards work out for certain characters, right? We see the PK fire come out because he covers, he covers the horizontal plane, and he forces Copy to go either low or high, but at that point, he had to go low. Yep. He has to go low in this case. Muffin so close, back throw, not gonna kill. This is another PK fire attempt, and he goes off stage with it, but unfortunately, this time, Copter's gonna go for the high recovery. Oh, Solid box string there. Up. Airtight right there, just caught him dropping shield, and he was able to get the four tail afterwards. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Muffin just kept up the momentum, was able to just seal out that stock. Only 63%. Lucas, a character that can make that up very easily, and it starts right here with that big combo. Try to go for a big read with that down smash to set up the even potential last stock for Copter, but yeah, he just brought it all the way back all of a sudden. The PK fire, 65, 83%, separating Muffin and Copter. At this point, Muffin's looking for a dare or a back air, possibly looking to cross up and get a grab or a down tilt and get more combos here. Yeah, Muffin looks oh, like there's he's a, a little bit more oh. reserved on using his double jump cancel with dares. Freeze. Oh, that was so close. I clipped him there. PK fire to stop the roller and the PK thunder to stop the land here. Good tech still coming out from Copter. He knows what he has to do. There's the parry and the roller. Does he find the confirm, but he faces the wrong direction? <laughs> oh my god, that oh, was no. such a big mistake and Muffin just keeping up his hope just it keeps up the mashing and now he's got a second opportunity at the fair that doesn't Copter could have brought it back <laughs> but he no, just right. forward smashed the wrong way yeah he did it was it was over man he had the game but unfortunately just won <laughs> facing the wrong direction <laughs> Copter just rolls his controller it's like all right man time to actually pack it up and go <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe that actually happened. You know, 